Okay. All right, so now for the next problem, <clears throat> find an expression for T1, the tension of the cable that does not depend on T2. So I'm just gonna draw this out. So we've got a, a wall up here and cable. and a mass hanging from this cable and theta 2 and uh, theta 1 and so our the T2 that's referring to is this one so that's T2 that's T1 and those tensions must balance the force from the mass and so to, to answer this the, the easiest way now is to look at the different components of our force and so we can expand these into similar triangles here and I'm just going to balloon that up a bit And so our, our T1 force will make an angle of theta 1 here because these are similar triangles. So this triangle and this one are both the same but just flipped. So that's theta 1 there, which makes this T1 cos theta 1 and makes that T1 sine theta 1. Uh, similarly, over here on the T2 side, um, we will have a similar triangle with theta 2, and this will be T2, and so this will be T2 cos theta 2, and this will be T2 sine theta 2. Okay? And then the force due to the mass is just F equals mg. Um, okay, so this, um, check that I didn't mess that up. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> in the x direction, our x forces must um, must all, everything with force equations have to have to work out. So in each in each direction works out independently. So in the x direction we have our t one x plus our t one y our t two x plus our t two x. Um, and just uh, in retrospect, I should probably throw in an axis system of some kind here. So there's our y, and there's our x there. So our t1x plus our t2x has to equal our mass times our acceleration x. Um, but nothing's moving, everything's, in, everything's stationary, so that means that whole side goes to zero. And so T1x has to equal minus T2x. And these are all signed um, quantities. So in the axis system I've drawn here, the x component of our T1 is this T1 cos theta 1, but it has to be it'll be minus t1 cos theta 1 because it acts in the negative direction. So we have minus t1 cos theta 1 is equal to minus, and our x component of our t2 is t2 cos theta 2 from our similar triangles. All right, so this is t1x and this is t2x and this is going to be our t1y and this is going to be our, our t2y. 
now with appropriate signs based on the direction. So T1x is actually going to be negative of that, but they both act in the positive y, whereas this is actually minus mg. Okay, so returning to this. Um, so this is now, we can cancel these minuses and we'll see what we would want to solve for when we look at in the y direction. So in the y direction, we then have that t1y plus t2y uh, minus mg is equal to may, where again, everything's stationary, so that'll cancel. Our T1y is T1 sine theta 1. Our T2y is T2 sine theta 1, theta 2, sorry. And so, <clears throat> and that is going to equal mg, uh, just moving the mg to the other side. And so now what we're looking for is an expression for T1 that does not depend on T2, so it looks like the best thing to do here is to solve for T2 as T1 cos theta 1 over cos theta 2. Now plugging this into this expression down here, we have T1 sine theta 1 plus T1 cos theta 1 over cos theta 2 sine theta 2 equals mg. And now we can rearrange this expression to find the tension in the first cable. And so taking out T1, and I'm just kind of just putting the stuff that has twos on it together, or dividing by this whole thing, T1 is equal to mg over sine theta 1 plus cos theta 1 sine theta 2 over cos theta 2. And so that's our tension expression. Which, does, which doesn't depend on, theta, on T2. So now looking through the solution here, um, we want to do our sum of forces in Y. And so we can break those down. So that was our, our final expression we used to solve it. Um, and uh, these should be X's, not Y's here, but that's of minor error. And so they have to be equal, which is what we found. So you can solve for T2. And then uh, the only thing that they did differently is you can call that <clears throat> tan theta 2 just to simplify things a little bit more. But in the end, their solution, which is mg over sine theta 1 plus cos theta 1 tan theta 2 is the same as ours. So I'm just going to say this solution is correct. There we go.